All right, our next guest, he's been one of the great personalities in golf over the last 30 years. Turned pro in 1976. Is that possible out of the University of Oregon? Has seven PGA Tour victories to his name. A couple more on the Champions Tour. That's for the old guys if you're not paying attention. The guys always smile on the course. He's having a great time. And he's hugging people, too. Strip. Actually, that's his daughter. It's Peter it Jacobson. <laughs> Jake, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Oh, wait. Did... Oh, there it is. That's the, the golf clap. clap. This, golf clap. this is, we're big on this. Golf clap. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too excitable. Just right. this right here. Right. Well, we can't clap for any of your shots these days. I heard that you just had your sticks stolen. I got them back, though. I got them stolen out of my garage. I called the cops. I called the media. I got a big frenzy going, and I got them back. Okay. What so, happened? Um, well, I, I had to I had to go into action, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, a bunch of guys. Somebody obviously was. Trolling, looking for equipment, and they stole they stole them out of my garage. Your but, garage? Yeah, out of my garage. The garage door was open for ten minutes. They got in, they got out, and they didn't know. I, I think they thought they just had some somebody's clubs, and they didn't. But I mean, this they is were a, something real. This is a pro golfer's bag. That's yeah, like no. the Rodney Dangerfield one from Caddyshack. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's got this, it's yeah. got the radio well, it's got on it. coming up out of it. It's yeah. got a tab, but I, I quit drinking years ago, so the tab I don't even use. The tab. <laughs> it's dry now. Yeah, I'm sure you dry. have an extra golf bag laying around. I do, I do. Okay. But what's interesting about all professional golfers is we do take time to get fit for our drivers, wedges, putters, everything. So when you do lose a set of clubs, they get stolen or they get lost in the airplanes a lot of times when you're traveling. You, it takes a while to get yourself refit for clubs. Mm -hmm. So I was panicked, but I got them back the next day. So I was very happy. Very good. Speaking so, of professional golfers, Phil Mickelson picks up the big win over Tiger after playing three rounds with him. What do you, what do you make of that win? Well, I think it's great. I think Phil Mickelson and Tiger Woods will now have a rivalry going on in the next five or six years. Tiger's still the man. He's a stud. I, I love playing with Tiger. I love playing with Phil. These two guys stare each other down uh, like the old days of Palmer and Nicholas. Uh, Phil is, uh, I, I think Phil is definitely a player to contend with, but I will still vote that Tiger Woods is, is the man to unseat. He's been number one. He will probably always be number one, but Phil's a close second. Now, when you guys are out there on the course, sometimes, you know, people are taking your pictures or they'll say something in your backswing or something like that. Tiger went after somebody for yeah. taking a picture. Now, we used to get booed by tens of thousands of people. Hey, speak for yourself, Dick. And right for myself. That's all I did. And right for myself. Why, why in golf or tennis can't you guys concentrate when somebody makes a noise? Well, because when we go to the tour event, we don't get a guaranteed salary or a signing bonus, Rob. <laughs> when we, when, you when Tiger, you got one too. When Tiger <laughs> Woods tees it up. When Tiger tees it up in the Deutsche Bank Championship, this is what he's guaranteed in prize money. Obviously, he's got endorsements. Right. But I do agree with you. I think if a golfer gets distracted by something swing. from the crowd, Come on. there he is right there. I tell you what, if Tiger got mad at me, I'd just melt like the wicked witch. He is built like a defensive He battery. is tough. But I do say that, that if you let somebody get in your head, that's up to you. You have to concentrate better and you've got to handle it yourself. Obviously, Tiger goes crazy, but that just goes to show you the focus that he has. Yeah, be careful. His yeah. caddy, Stevie Woods, if I was come over your If I was he Mickelson, will. wouldn't you plant somebody to do uh, that? I wouldn't put that past anybody. Kind of like Tiger. Tiger. He would. In fact, you know, Davis Love and Tiger were playing a match at the Accenture Match Play Championship, and somebody in the crowd was kind of yelling for Tiger against Davis, and, and Davis had him tossed. Mm. So uh, you've got to be careful in that wow. situation. I guess one, one of the good things about being you is that like, all of us non-golfers want to play with you. And I, I understand you got a chance to play with Michael Jordan. Oh, it's a great story. When the Bulls were playing my Portland Trailblazers in the NBA Finals, Michael came out, and obviously Michael's Michael, so he can play golf at any time he wants, even during the championship series. So Ahmad Rashad, who's a former Oregon Duck like I am, mm -hmm. and Michael and I went out and played in Portland. And Michael shoots 80, 82, 83. So uh, Ahmad came over to me during the Finals and said, Hey, Michael likes to play golf, but here's a real golfer. How did he play today? When is he going to play on the tour? And I said to Ahmad, I'll be posting up playing center for the Bulls before <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> plays on the PGA Tour. And that got a big laugh out of Ahmad. But you know what? I got hate mail from the Chicago fans for a year saying, you can't talk that about Michael Jordan. I'm like, God, I said, hey, it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. And it wasn't that far a stretch. I mean, Luke yeah. Longley was their center. You're not that far That's back. That's exactly <laughs> right. I mean, you should see me post up, man. You, you can't move me. <laughs> well, let's uh, turn back to golf real quickly here on this front. The FedEx Cup. Tiger's already going to miss an event. Mickelson's already looking forward to the first major in 08. Are you guys taking this thing seriously? Well, I am, and I think the PGA Tour is. And I really like this new FedEx Cup system because... We've got attention on golf right now in the fall, where normally it 
the attention falls off after the last major year, the PGA Championship. I'm upset that Tiger missed two weeks ago. I'm upset that Phil's missing this week. Maybe we should institute a rule that says you can't win unless you play in all four. But having said that, Phil's got family. He's got his concerns. He has to do what he has to do to win, to win the tournament and have balance in his life. There's no question that there's going to be some tweaks with this playoff system. But overall, I think it's a bold move by the PGA Tour. I think it's a move in the right direction. It's just the first year. And I think before people start jumping down everybody's throat and worrying about it, we just have to see how it shakes out. You've got everything going on, on and off the course as well. So, Peter Jacobson Sports, what's going on with you these days? Well, about 20 years ago, I started an event management company called Peter Jacobson Productions. I really love the game of golf, and I wanted to be able to do something with charity. And I started a tournament in my hometown of Portland, Oregon, called the Fred Meyer Challenge. And I needed to start a company to run that. And from there, we've really grown. And now we're rebranding to Peter Jacobson Sports, and we're doing e event management still. But we're doing sports marketing and we're doing player relations. So we're working with players, managing players, but we're working with companies like Lexus, Geldwin, uh, Laser Spine Institute, a, a fantastic facility that I just had back Aleve. surgery and yeah. Aleve, absolutely. Right. absolutely. Well, I look like a NASCAR really. Thank you. <laughs> I'm impressed that you know they, wow, they say yeah. you can't read, but you can. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, you know, all the, all that. I stuff. know about the pain <laughs> killers and stuff like that. Well, let's so. listen, being being older like you and I. <laughs> We need that stuff. Hey, Jake, as always, it's great to see you. We'd love to have you sit in and guest host with us one day. I know that your yeah. time is short, especially since you're about to become a grandpappy for the first time. So congrats on that Thank as you. well. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Jake, do we have the golf clap for him? Yeah. Yeah. This there is it go. right here. I don't yeah. want to bother anybody. Right. That's okay. Tiger? <laughs> Not in my... Come on!